Hi, welcome to Azure Everyday with Pragmatic Works. My name is Steve Hughes. I'm a principal consultant with Pragmatic Works, and today I would like to talk with you a little bit about cognitive analytics and the services that are available. Today's focus will be on uh, language analytics and the language APIs that are available from Microsoft. It's a little different than speech. Speech is a different series, so we're going to talk about language here. Um, often you'll work with these together, but uh, just be aware that they are different, and you'll find them in different categories on the Microsoft site. So, Really, uh, language is focused on processing natural language uh, and being able to use that in some way, shape, or form. So if you think of it in terms of the ability to actually speak into something or to type into something, because it's language, uh, I could ask, you, know, you should be able to type a question like, um, who is the greatest of all time at basketball and get a response to that based on interpreting the language that was there. So let's, let's dive into what's available in the Microsoft stack. So we have language, um, so we have uh, what's called Lewis, so Language Understanding Intelligence Service. This is the most common service used within a stack. As a, for example, UPS actually uses this today to help customers track their packages. So may, you may or may not have known it, but this is one of the features that is out there. And it's done through um, basically understanding comments and it tries to interpret what people mean. A lot of um, There's a lot of bot applications for this as well. Uh, working with a couple customers on bots around this, the idea is that we can actually go in and, and ans ask questions in a bot and those will do the job of helping us understand what's being asked and do some work around understanding the language that's being used and you can do a lot of work around that. And it's really cool, great way to interact with the Azure Bot service. The Text Analytics API is used to, de used to detect sentiment and key phrases, topics, language, and so on. Um, sentiment analysis basically is the key of what it's trying to do. Is going to look at the language and the context and say, hey, these people are happy, they're not happy. You can do some interesting things like if you go out and type in a customer survey, and if it's enabled to do some quick analytics, it could identify words like terrible or wonderful or other words that provide some sentiment analysis for the organization, and they could respond to that and say, thank you for a great review, or I'm sorry you did not have a good time here. How can we help you? And move on to another interaction level by taking advantage of text analytics in real time on their applications. So it's really cool. It also detects what language you're typing in and then apply that. So some really neat things in text analytics that allow for these um, new applications to work. My favorite, well, okay, maybe not my favorite, but I think it's one of the, it's, it's obvious, but not obvious, the Bing spell checker. Uh, so the Bing spell check API does exactly what it says. I maybe you have an application you want to put spell check into. You're trying to figure out how in the world am I going to put spell check in? Well, there you go. You can now use the Bing spell check API, attach it in, and essentially add spell checking to whatever you're doing in your application. So nice little treat there around language, something that doesn't always come up. You know, you might think spell checking really API. Well, how else would you do it, right? Um, Translator text API. This is really uh, related to translating the text that's typed in. So it, it is what it sounds like. We're going to translate from English to Spanish, Spanish to English, and so on. Um, and there is a lot of languages supported in the text translator. So as you start working through that, I encourage you to have a look at what that would be. Because then you can do things like um, work with uh, third parties in other countries, or you can provide customer service, uh, even in a scenario where you may or may not speak the person who's interacting with you in the language, but you could do it in a chat scenario, and it translates. The web language um, model API is a, it's a way to actually help us handle natural language queries that like we were talking about, so processing natural language questions and trying to help understand things like what's the next common word to be, word completion. So I might start typing something, you know, Bing search works, and it, you know, you type something in, and all of a sudden it starts filling the word in for me. This web language model API can help with that. And finally, there's a linguistics API, which is really in preview right now. And it's really for linguistic analy analytics, um, allowing people to parse and analyze the language that's being brought into Baron and really uses some linguistic techniques that are pretty sophisticated. So it's an opportunity to uh, do linguistic analysis on your, on the text that's coming in or about what people are talking about. So if you're interested in learning more about uh, language analytics and uh, cognitive uh, cognitive analytics from uh, Microsoft. Please let us know. Click the link below for more information. We'd be happy to reach out and help you. Thank you and have a great day.